Today, guys, we are going to be talking about Last Stand, a game mode that I honestly think the Division 2 would benefit from, especially if we got it in Division 2 during the DLC. Now, what was so cool about Division 2, sorry, Division 1 Last Stand? Well, it was an AP game mode, something that we don't currently have in the Division 2, right? Um, it was an objective base, right? You had your base, you had to capture all the points, you had to fortify it, then you could go capture B, which had three points where you had to capture it, so you get um, the most points, and then you could go capture the enemy's objective, which on this one, it would be C. Now, alongside all that, you also had NPCs, you also had some some areas where you could go capture and get bonus points. So there was a little bit for everybody. Not everybody in here was amazing PvP players, but what was cool about it is it provided a place for PvP players to go to have instant combat and lots of combat. None of this skirmish, 4v4, small maps, super tiny. This thing was massive. It was made up of the Dark Zone from the Division 1, right? And, and I honestly... I'm a little sad that we never got something like this in the Division 2. I, I feel like if we had to choose Conflict over Last Stand, I 100% would have said, yo, put Conflict out and put Last Stand in. And if you ask anybody, maybe in the comment section, you guys can say, would you rather have had Conflict or would you rather have had Last Stand? If I had to rate my favorite game modes of all time i would say you have survival and you have last stand and they're they're both kind of up there um both were amazing but for pvp players last stand if you liked pve and pvp survival and if you only like pve you probably like survival a little bit better but yeah last stand was such a fun experience especially it was just so hectic you had so many people firing you just had so many bodies hitting the floor and it, in this gameplay, we get, we end up getting 45 kills, something you can't do in conflict, and it's so fast paced, which is so fun. Um, the respawns are cool. Like I honestly just don't understand why. Maybe the data was different, right? Maybe it was the data was different from what I I thought. But I'll tell you, for me, man, I remember so many. Oh, it was. Nasty. For me, I remember so many people talking about Last Stand and how they love this game mode. Um, it was their favorite game mode. When it, man, I remember Last Stand being busy. You go in there and instantly queue up. Like it was busy for a long time, and it was just sad. It was just sad to see that when the Division Two PvP came out, they dropped Conflict, and Conflict just didn't hit like Last Stand. And that's what I'm hoping for. I think if the Division 2 devs want to please the PvP community and maybe bring some of those PvP players back, dropping Last Stand with the DLC next update or some type of ABA game mode would 100% do that. And I think that would be amazing because Last Stand is an objective game mode you can do objectives you can play it's just so many things you can do some people don't even really fight them they go flank bases and they go try to take over the bases to win points and they that, that's how they play the game mode and that's what's cool about it. you could play it a lot of different ways and i think if they want to really please that pvp community who's a little bit upset with the current state of pvp saying that we just haven't got anything we haven't got any new conflict maps we haven't got any new um, new game modes for PvP. The DZ is very small. There's only 12 players in it compared to in Division 1. It was one massive. And then there's a lot of things that PvP players aren't excited about. But I could see if they added an AV8, that could all change. And I got to know in the comments, guys, what would you like to see in, D in, in the DLC for PvP players? And would Last Stand be one of those? And was Last Stand a game mode that you played in Division 1? That, that's what I want to know. Man, the more I watch this gameplay, the more I want to get back. And I just know that the, the queue times for Last Stand just take forever. 
and I get that all the time. Why don't you go play Division One? Man, it, it sucks waiting 10 minutes for 15 minutes for a game. Um, that wasn't the case back then, right? Like when you know when when Division One was at its prime, when Last Stand was, you could get into a game instantly. I if I didn't have enough time to really go into the dark zone and I was solo, I would just go play some Last Stand for a few hours and then boom, I'd be done. And that's what I play. I played so much Last Stand that I I'm a, I'm a little sad that we didn't get it. And I hope that whoever they're listening to for the Division Two DLC. Um, maybe maybe they're influencing um a maybe you should put some of these game modes in that really made the division one stand out um of course it's very hard to like replicate what they had here because this was one big dz that they made into a last map which worked really well but maybe they could do something um and i just don't know if they have the resources to but for me 100 percent, i would love to see a new pvp game mode and, and, and obviously Last Stand. What we're going to do here, guys, is we're going to just react to the rest of this gameplay. I noticed that, man, I had some nice clips in this one. This thing was crazy. Man, too bad TikTok and Instagram wasn't popping back then. Well, Reels. Oh. Did you see the guy put me on Pred? That Pred mark right there. I think that was my first death. We got 39,000 points already. I wonder how many kills we have. The one thing that Last Stand never showed you, which was always weird, it never showed you your kills until after you were out, um, after you were done. But I know for sure I got 45 on this in this game. I'm gonna push through here. And what's cool is, it, is the time for the games were a solid time. It gave you enough time to have some good rounds. It honestly reminded me a little bit of Call of Duty domination that, 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 that's what it really reminded me of with a few other objectives you can do in it you see how we cleared out so currently for some of you guys who don't know you see how we have a and b right um so we have those and then where i'm going right now i believe there's a there's a boss down here that we can get a multiplier Oh no, there's players on here. They got it. Oh no. Man, Predmark was was one of the oh, I just died twice to Pred. Predmark is definitely a build that I don't miss. I wonder if there's any what is like Predmark? I mean, I guess you could say the status builds in like the, the burn is kind of like Pred, but instead of bleed you burn with the new LMG, yeah, kinda kind of the same. Yo, they're getting slaughtered on that side over there. Uh, we gotta go. I literally got whooped up twice. GC House says capture objective. So in the middle point, there's always three objectives you gotta capture. There's one here, one right in front of us, and then one to the left. You see up here. I'm using that house. <laughs> Who remembers the house with Striker? That thing was a monster. Got some player. Oh, there you go. Ooh, little two piece right there. Three piece. Forty two thousand points. Well, man, you know what I honestly miss? I miss the healing that we used to get from strikers. If we had that in Division Two, it'd be a wrap. The shock turret. That's like the same Elmo's, but worse. Just drop it down. Oh. Man, the outfits, man, are, are so clean, though. These outfits were so nice. I had, like, all the military outfits. 
I think this was the snow marine one. Look at this shot. Man's put me bleed and shock. If you guys were wondering, statuses were a thing in Division 1 too. Total domination here. Oh, are they, oh I put defensive link. Oh, that's the Pred Mark, dude. Tried so hard with Pred. We just hunting. Kill hunting right now. Behind you, buddy. On the Man, those immune boxes were also clutch for cleansing yourself. And healing yourself when you explode the box. Wow. This is a wrap. See, it's just pure chaos. Like, if you like the PvP, this was such a cool mode. Consistent fights, domination. What's they doing on the floor? Man, the immune box, when you used to be able to drop it to, to give yourself a little heal. So clutch. Also, did you guys see the recoil? Huge difference than Division 1. Compared to Division 2. Mm, 59,000. This should be almost over. <laughs> yeah, we just holding these boys. This guy's trying hard with his pred, though. Holy shit. He almost, oh. Ooh. Oh. 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 oh, man. Slaughter. 63,000 points. I think the closest guy has like 30,000 points less than me. Yeah, 27. Look at the other team, though. So like when teams started to lose, what they would do is they would um they would send someone to your base. You guys remember that? Anybody who played it? And then in your base oh. And then in your base they would um they would just capture it so that, that way it would stop your thing. I think we're about to win right now. I think we need fifteen thousand points. Was it fifteen thousand we needed? The dude's name is Nuts on Drugs.
<laughs> oh no, that's not drugs. <laughs> yeah, it's about to be over here. And then we'll get to see how many kills I had. Man, striker builds were so OP in Division 1. See how many kills we get, guys. 65,000 points. I was shredding. Honestly, this was my favorite game mode. Favorite game mode. So, KD champ. Let's see how many kills we hit. And then it should show us once we go over. Capture. Come on, show the kills. There are 45. If you see right here. 45 kills, man. 14 assists. 47 finishers. I had a 43 kill streak. Pretty crazy. All right, guys. Let me know, would you guys like to see a game mode like this added to the DLC in the Division 2 coming out next year? I think it would be a perfect time to add it. I'll see you guys in the next one.